Now to the high stakes primaries in Alaska and Wyoming today. Republican Congresswoman Liz Cheney fighting for her political future in the House of Representatives. She's been former President Trump's biggest Republican critic, and she vows to continue to fight on even if she loses her primary tonight. ABC's Morgan Norwood has more on what today's primaries could mean for the political landscape going forward. Voters in Wyoming now heading to the polls, poised to have an outsized impact on the fate of the Republican Party, testing the effectiveness of former President Donald Trump's political weight against those who have spoken out against him. She doesn't let those people bully her and she does what's right for everyone. Liz Cheney, the most outspoken critic of Trump and the state's only member of the House, has made this election a referendum on the truth. Challenging Trump's lies about the 2020 election and condemning his role in the January 6th attack on the Capitol. America cannot remain free if we abandon the truth. Cheney faces Herod Hageman, an attorney and former Cheney supporter who once rebuked Trump. Now she echoes Trump's lies about a stolen election. Liz Cheney has encouraged Democrats and independents to register as Republicans and back her in the primary. I would vote for a Democrat before I would vote for Cheney. I felt like she's completely abandoned the Republican Party. But her strategy unlikely to be enough to overcome her opponent in a state where former President Donald Trump won by a margin of nearly 44 percent. This isn't just about voting against Liz Cheney. Wyoming will finally have a representative that is from Wyoming, understands Wyoming. Liz Cheney isn't the only Trump critic on the ballot. In Alaska, Senator Lisa Murkowski, who voted to convict Trump in the Senate impeachment trial, also facing primary challengers. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Los Angeles.